presented in partnership with University of Phoenix. An educated world is a better world. 13 centuries ago, Mayan priests wrote a warning that the world will end in apocalypse. They climbed to the roofs of the houses, but the houses crumbled under their feet. They tried to mount to the tops of the trees, but the trees hurled them from them. They sought refuge in the caverns, but the caverns closed before them. These keepers of primeval mysteries calculated time on a grand scale, unimaginable to other ancient cultures. But after 5,125 years of counting, their calendar stops dead on a very specific date. December 21st, 2012, Mayan year zero. Surely it's just a story. Amazingly, those ancient Mayan legends mirror 21st century thinking. Scientists are constantly alert for new evidence of potential disaster. I have an obligation to society. That comes first. The scientific knowledge, of course, we're always building up. What the scientists are looking out for are the five cataclysmic events most likely to devastate our world. An arc storm an asteroid impact, a mega quake, a mega tsunami, and a super volcano. They know that some have struck before. The brilliant flash of a thousand Hiroshima's all in one place at one time. And they believe that others will hit us in the future. Waves 60 to 100 feet high along 10,000 miles of coastline. Figuring out which disaster is coming next may answer the toughest question of all. How will the world end? Nothing survives here long, not even us. Samuel L. Jackson hosts Curiosity, How Will the World End? Sunday at 8, only on Discovery.